Welcome back guys to Tales of Exilia 2 where with 20 million in debt still incurred and our first payment coming up we try to pick up more poo in order to pay. So a little bit of alliteration for you at the start there. But yes, hopefully we get some more poo and we can sell it for big bucks but leaving the area and re-entering is quite good for getting LMR and all that mind you. A couple of jobs done, we of course need to get battling. So we get them complete, so, well that said, that's two of our guys for the fight there. Oh, hitting me, ah, ah, I'm being dragged in there. Oh, I've been smashed down. The frog is not someone we should leave alone, I don't think. Hey, you did it! I guess you're not too bad. She's annoying me now. She's growing on me. <laughs> and she shouted at those people, I was like, yes, well done. Shout at normal people, eh? Shout at people in the street, that's you fine. You should. If someone's a poo head and you see them doing it, you should just shout at them. Try using wind. I did use the wind! She's nagging me. Oh, I could reach. Oop. Resisting element there. Gotta keep moving. One step at a Indeed. Well, we get ourselves more items that way, so let's just keep bashing everyone down, picking up all the items and moving onwards. Or picking up any LMO we see along our way. We need all the money we can get. Now we should kind of keep a little bit of the criteria of what exactly we need to actually come home with in the end. I think we prior prioritise weapons at this stage because we're not going to make much of a dent in our debt really with the starting area stuff. Making sure we're powerful enough is a little bit better, yeah. But to be honest, as soon as we hit 5,000, I guess we're going to be forced to pay. Well, almost. How do you do that? What's your secret? Can you teach me? Can I learn too? Huh? Guess your questions are the one thing I can't dodge. That was a lot of them. Can you answer them for Rebecca? You press back and square. Ta -da. We, we got a lose stick. Someone, in other words, just dropped their lolly stick on the floor after they lost. Brilliant. We're tidying up. Good citizens. We are. Didn't dodge that time. I'm out of here. Right. Dodging all around. It seems all it that uses time. up 180. I'll break through. It seems like lifting them up with a variable attack is not a bad idea when you're being attacked by multiples. Getting up in the air straight away. It seems like air comboing is actually a lot easier in this one. Uh, yeah. I nearly missed that completely. Let's get all the elemental ore we can muster. Big guy over there. Oh, hello. It's basically just break down all the enemies. Every so often he just seems to resist you. Are you just naturally uh, weak against them? I keep forgetting that Cerberus Strike is not very good against them. Ah, and that's when they get the counter in. You've got healer anyway, you can just top yourself up at any point in time, but another job ready to report there. I see a preemptive on the horizon. Oochoo. In fact, that did a lot of damage to that one. What's what's its weakness? It. Oh, natural slashing is good enough for me. Well, I was going to try and do his healers. Sorry, I kind of started rushing around. It seems like I had, like, all the weaknesses against them there. There are several jobs that revolve around defeating certain enemies outside of town. If you're going to be fighting enemies anyway, be sure to take on these jobs so well so you can kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> exactly what we're doing, game. Don't worry about it. Strength to protect. You've gained HP gain there. I just don't know whether I should quickly switch to make sure that... Will we run out of paths we can travel? It seems you're still learning palm strikes. So that's not too bad. I'm learning some kind of plus for time disintegration. Ooh, a hole. A hole? Let's go go through it then. And some kitty, kitty crisps. crisps. Did I really just pick that up? What was that? It had a special kind of cuts return time by 10% when used in kitty dispatch. I don't think we've got kitty dispatch yet. What is kitty dispatch? Maybe we can uh, send the cat off to the shop to sell our trash stuff. That'd like, be handy. Because you could do that in torchlight, couldn't you? Ooh, elemental ore obtained way. So mm. these caves are going to have nicer stuff. Oh, treasure chest as well hidden away. 400 gold. Over here. Don't forget those payments, okay? Should we just pay her off because we're about to earn more money anyway? Yeah, why not? Yeah, take 5,000. You're not taking all of it, but that's not really going to put much of a dent in it with 19,995,000 still to pay. 
Nearly done. Another surly payment from Luger. Oh, surly is just industry slang for super early. So keep up the surly act from now on, okay? I'm not sure that's what it means. Once you've paid back a given debt, your next goal will be displayed. Feel free to proceed with the main story at this point if you wish. You can continue to repay your debt even while progressing through the main story. If you keep repaying as much as you can, something good is sure to happen. What you mean, my organs won't be harvested. Hey, Ludes! Nova here with some good news! With that payment you just made, I was able to lift the travel restriction on Duval Station! Just keep those payments flowing and everything will go nice and smooth! You go, Luga! <sighs> she doesn't take things very seriously, does she? Wow. To be honest, the thing I'm thinking is, if it's just 5,000 gold anyway, did, did we really need to be travel restricted for that? I don't know. Right, can we actually see what jobs we got left somewhere? Uh, Do you think it'd be in the library? Event list, skits, record enemy data, I don't know. Okay, summary of events so far. Okay, jobs. Deliver two fossilized shells. We have currently two. We have two old shells. Beautiful feathers is complete. We've done those ones. You want an adventure? Defeat four of those. We've done, but we still need to get... Ten beautiful feathers. Do we actually have them on us? I don't know. Those little birds dropped them. Okay, it would be in the monster bit, so over here we got seven, so we need to specifically target birds. Can we go to the path up ahead? Yeah, I guess we may as well check what's a bit further up. That makes more sense. Because you never know when we might find stuff like that, or monsters. Oh, there's a bird, it's fine. Try slashing it. I'm trying to slash it. Okay. That thing's very weak to being slashed. Easy. And you did a ton of damage then, didn't you? Hmm? Alright, we didn't get any feathers, but we got some iron sand. Five more elemental ore, some iron sand again. Should we check what's up further then? Yes. The west region. It's where a big monster tries to kill us or something. Well, there's a bird. Squeaky. Two birds, in fact. Where? How'd you hit me on the way down, you evil thing? Ow, ow, stop running me in the back. Okay. All too easy. Yes, you say that when you're not fighting. Still, we've got a defense wizard gain there. Some more LM ore is never bad. I thought so. I'm imagining things now. I thought I saw some i3 treasures there. Wishful thinking. Yes, these guys are weak to slashing, so I'll probably take them out in no time at all. Okay. Okay. Hey, you did it! I guess you're not too bad. It's nice playing a purely physical character again, though, after Mila, though. Does that mean at the end of every battle skit, she will always be there, no matter how we change the party? I imagine so. We've got ourselves some more Kitty Crisps. It's too bad we can't use Kitty Dispatch on our own Kitty. Fetch us a coffee! To the shops! That'd be amazing. Clean your litter tray. Right, so we need... how many more feathers, I wonder? Let's just fight another set of birds and then check, but most importantly, check under there. Money! We need that to pay off debts! Because the caves seem to have the most lucrative prizes. So these guys don't like hammers. Oh, so you're counted as a hammer type? A bludgeoning instrument? Your weaponry is... Well, I guess it would be fists. I wonder if you can buy bladed fists and stuff. Probably. That'd be pretty cool. We'll pick ourselves up some weird fragments here. Don't know if we need that for anything. We might need it in the next quest area. Yeah, to be honest, picking up any extra items now is mm. going to suit us well in the future. We may as well get a little bit of our grind on. So you have power hits against all these, do you? Apparently. Over already? Break them quite nicely. Alright, let's check how many more feathers we've got before we can head back. We haven't picked up any extra. We're doing well. All we can really do is go for the glowing spots and the birds. Any items we pick up? Well, we learned an art there. I enhanced an art. The question is, can you continue learning an art? 
You've got Palm Strike now. I've got upgraded time disintegration. Um, what do you want to put? Healers on there twice. If you want to do it with down, um, where down is. Use Palm Strike. That'll sure. Do. And I've got just an improved version of time disintegration now. Apart from that, the Allium Orb. Are you still learning something? You're learning Palm Strike Plus now. And I'm learning Hidden Target. We could switch over. What do you think? Switch over and try to learn some new stuff or? I don't mind. Ah, that's what we need. As long as we can get the bird. As long as we can. Ah, ah! Please, get off me! Oh, you're power hitting them. Brilliant. It's coming for me. I don't like it. Okay. Okay. All right, did we get any beautiful feathers? We got four of them, so we've got all we need now. We can head back. Increasing max SP. When you obtain a new skill, half the required SP to set that skill will be added to the total SP of the character that acquired it. What? Moreover, you can also increase your SP by defeating certain types of enemies, which character will get an SP boost as dependent on the type of monster defeated. Be sure to defeat all types of monsters on your travels. What? SP. What's that stand for again? Silly points. Obviously. You got SP plus two, then. The feat is a specified number of less chirpy. SP plus two. SP is what we need to... Ah, uh, skill points. is what we need to set new skills to ourselves. So we've got all the feathers now. It seems that if we grinded on these guys, we would get more. Um, wasn't there another quest we couldn't quite do? Maybe if yeah, we go maybe back, if we go back, we can do it. Or maybe we need that wood badge still. Uh, we might get a wood badge just from handing it in. I'm just going to take a quick route round yep. and grab all the stuff. And off home we are. I'm sure mm -hmm. at some point in time we might gain fast travel or something along the lines. Mm. But for now, we're very much stuck on Shank's pony, walking around everywhere. Picking up poo. That seems to be our job now. 20 minutes in dead, pick up poo. You'll be fine in no time. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's how it works. The um, entrepreneurial spirit. Monsters respawn faster, don't they? Well, that's a good thing. A never-ending supply. Especially if you're working on getting more SP. So basically, any time we want, we can hop back to lower level areas, beat up some monsters, and still actually get rewards. At some point in time, you're going to want to defeat all the enemies you can. Mm-hmm. With that said, we've finally done some more jobs. We've got some more cash. We made off as payment. We want more money. Right, can we get this yet? No, we still need to make the next title level. But how do we get that? Still got the girl's gift going with 288 points. We need to actually go to the station. Okay, then. We got 100 points and we got Breeze. So we got another... One of those... Uh... Allium or filters? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not bad. We'll put that one done. And old shells we still haven't done. Really? Mount 2. I thought we did that. Shells of the beach are in soup. It looks like they have fossils too. I thought we did that one. Yeah. Uh -huh. I bet you need both quests to have enough to yeah, get well, you up there. Let's get to the station first. We'll find that little girl when she appears. I don't think it's her. She's an old lady. Her? Oh no, I need to take the lost girl they found and hand it to the police. Give it to me. Oh, it's might put movement restrictions on me. Oh. Okay, up over here it is. Sub events. What oh, beautiful feathers! Now I can make what I've been wanting to! Are you gonna use those to make a present for your daddy? Huh? How do you know? Who told the job? Oh, you wrote it on the job description. Oh, well, yeah, I guess I did, didn't I? I'm gonna put some glue on him and make a warm muffler. Oh, I made something out of feathers for my daddy, too! Hey, feathers is my thing! Don't be a copycat! I'm not a copycat! They got posh voices now. I made him a feathered mask. A mask? That's so weird. It's not weird. My daddy said he liked it. It is too weird. Daddies don't wear masks. It's not weird. What a weird conversation. I can even see that bit because they moved on themselves. But look around at all the men, I think is what she said. See what I mean? Your daddy's a weirdo. Or he's just original and awesome. He's not weird. My daddy isn't a weirdo. Hey now, this all, uh, I mean, I made tons of masks for my dad back to school, and he wore every single one, I'm sure, his dad. Isn't that right, Ludger? Yeah. Hmm, well actually, my dad wore a mask for the festival once. See, my daddy's not weird. Hey, so how do you know about these two guys? Oh, them, Ludger and Jude. And the big cat horse. They're just a bunch of weirdos. 
What? You weren't expecting to get a nice reply there. I don't think it's possible for us to do enough jobs, by the way, to get the points needed to get that job. I think it could have been like quite a high XP on that one, though. Yeah, it's, this one's 288 points, so it is a high one. All right, the girl's gift's done. I see what you mean, though. <laughs> well, we still need 519 more points, of yes, which we're not gonna we get can't <laughs> get to, no matter what. The one job that we have to report is only 105 points, so no matter what, we have to come back here anyway. We could do that show one just by the power of editing. We could go out and get it and not make the people watch the boring grind. Or we could just head on. Okay. Because we've got to come back anyway. OCD. OCD. <laughs> Don't I like wait. my quests neat and tidy. We'll be back for it, it'll be fine. And I'm guessing we go back here to try and get over and away. Try left Central Station? Okay. Okay, we can open the map by pressing square. The start of your destination, the main chapter of the story. So we've got to start up the main story again. However, the start and the sub-event icons may occasionally appear in high places. So if you can't find them at first, try adjusting the height of the map. Well, we're back at Triglef. Who's to say we don't find jobs here instantly and be able to go back? Which way shall I go, Becca? Well, it seems we've got ourselves another skit, a relief. Well, I'm just glad we made it back safely. There's something comforting about coming back here. Okay, do you have good memories of the city or comforting? L1 would be the nicer one, I guess. I guess. Comforting makes me wonder why, but still. I certainly have vivid ones. This is where we came when we first arrived at Olympias. Everything about Triglef surprised me. Huh? Like what? Hmm. Well, for one thing, we'd been fighting on a different plane of existence when a rift opened up and we were sucked into it. What? Huh? The next thing I remember, I was waking up in a bed, surrounded by objects I'd never seen before. I was surprised by, well, how much there was to be surprised by. What surprises me is how happy you look when you're telling that story. Yes, I was just casually fighting on another plane of existence. No one's going to find this story weird. That girl's kind of weird as well, though, to be honest. L. Hmm. What'd you say? With her Batman dad and everything in the watch and all that nonsense. Yes, I'm hoping the watch gets explained a little bit more. That's and for she sure. just ropes in strangers into her problems by accusing them of crimes. That's kind of pants. It is, a little bit, yes. I wonder if there's a job centre here. A job centre. Well, I, I don't know what to call it. They're a bit better than the ones in England. <laughs> We're sitting oh. in queue for ages. Give mm. us a job! Well, to be honest, it would probably be in the shopping centre, which would be further along this way, I'd say. But to be honest, we're being ferried completely to a specific location. Home or nowhere? No, shopping centre! Ha ha ha! Jobs, Becca! Right then, let's see what contract we've got. <laughs> oh. No jobs, Becca! Run away! If we could only get those jobs, we could get our first title, and then we could complete the jobs, and your OCT could be satisfied. But until then, no. Until then, it's back home Is for a little nap. Is there one block of flats in this whole world? Is this where you live? Well, technically, this is the second block of flats. We used to go in the other one. Did we? I thought Doodar's cousin lived in this one as well. He lives to the the door to the other the other door. Uh, it's one block then. It's one block. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's, it's just joined up, is it? It conjoined. It's conjoined. Well, should we step in and see if our brother happens to be here, just casually hanging out after whatever happened? I hope he isn't, because that would just be weird. Is this Julius's house? You live here, Rolo? Is this Julius's house? Well, I, I think it's my house too. It's mine, though I'm more like a freeloader right now, or it feels like I haven't been back here in ages. I guess, is L1 the more comical? 
Elwyn's a bit more of the realistic, but no one would really say that about themselves. Whee! Okay, Pex, press it. <laughs> <laughs> Reloader. That's like a deadbeat, right? So, now what? The cat's got a point. I think we're all running on fumes. Ugh, tomatoes are gross! Don't be picky now, tomatoes are tasty, or okay, I won't put any tom tomatoes or tomatoes. She has to learn. I hate fussy children. They'll end up like you, you eat n nearly I nothing. I eat tomatoes! You do now after I've been trying to house train you for years. Well then I'll I'll act like the holy than thou person and say, yes. Don't be picky. Yeah. Tomatoes you eat. I'm not being picky. I'm expressing my individuality. That's my right. You sure do know some big words. Hope she likes some vegetables or she's going to get a big ass as well. <laughs> Alright, it seems we've got multiple places to head to and the number one thing that we've got to do at this point in time is cook. We've got multiple exit, there's Ludger's room, and then we've got to go to the kitchen and cook something extremely specifically. Is that not the kitchen right there? I don't know, well, we've got ourselves a bed. We've got to cook, but we'll cook next episode, guys. I'm sure things are going to go a little bit crazy now. Let's feed this kid some tomatoes and see exactly what happens. Will she explode? Find out next episode. Bye-bye.